Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm alive. It's been a little while. And it's been a tough trot. But I'm alive. Joe is half alive. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that you're not well, Joe. Hi, Double Dash. Good evening. Hi, William. Hi, Jet Set. Hi, Alex. Hi, Winnie. How are you guys going? Thank you so much for turning up to this very last minute, highly chaotic stream with a really terrible thumbnail. Which I'm gonna have to uh, replace with something much, much better. <coughs> now, um, I do still have a cough. You will be hearing me cough throughout the stream. I do apologize. Really bad headache day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Joe. Hopefully, um, Looking at your screen won't make it worse. Yeah, no, I am I am still coughing. I've still got this uh, mucusy, chesty, nasty cough thing, um, which just doesn't really want to seem seem to want to go away. So you will hear some coughs and some splashes. Um, my nose is clear right now because I just had some Demazin uh, nose spray, but I am still a little under the weather. I don't know at this point if I'm actually going to get better until I give birth. <laughs> like, I think I'm just sick forever at the moment. Who knows? But, uh, I hope that uh, you've all had a good day. Apart from Joe with her bad headache day, which is, does not sound like a good day whatsoever. Um, tonight we are going to be doing some chill buildings, chill Sims 2 vibes, and... Um, that is simply because I do not really feel up to doing anything else, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh, dearie me. Love. Um. Right. Okay. But yeah, so we're going to be starting some work on... Can I change YouTube to dark? Yeah, you totally can. Dark mode on YouTube. Hey, Alex. Oh, is it just a bad time of year? I hope it's not a bad time of year for everyone. Um, I don't remember exactly how to change YouTube to dark mode. Uh, oh, appearance, maybe? Device theme? Okay, so I'll show you, Joe. I'll show you over here. So if you if you click on your, your user settings and you go to appearance, um, you can select light or dark theme on there. If you're on your phone, it's probably something slightly different. Uh, but it'd probably be a similar process. Are you on your phone or are you on your computer, Joe? <laughs> Double Dash is like, you scared me. It'd be just in your settings menu, basically, Joe. But yes, you can definitely enable dark mode. Uh, I have dark mode enabled on like everything. <laughs> Nobody, nobody wants white computer screens these days, do they? No, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be starting some work on my, um, my, I guess, Townieville neighborhood that I want to make. Um, so in a minute, we'll, we'll move over to the game. I'll take you guys in and I'll show you what I've done so far, which is not much. Um, yeah, I was meant to stream more Desert Out of Valley tonight, but... I didn't want to. <laughs> I was like, I'm too tired. <laughs> Hi, Alex Art, how are you? I was so excited for your Riverville Machinima series. Oh my gosh, you're so brave getting into Machinima. It's like something that I wish I was cool enough to do, but I just don't think I have the time or mental capacity for it. <laughs> Dark mode is the best, yeah. You even did it at work. Eight hours in front of a bright screen is no good. No, it's really not. That's awful. Yeah, I have dark mode enabled on like everything. If I see like normal mode on things that I'm used to dark mode on, like, um, you know, Twitter or, uh, sorry, X or YouTube or whatever, I'm like, oh, bright. <laughs> My phone has dark mode for everything. Building sounds good to you, awesome. Because that's, uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to drink water and we're going to build some stuff. So... Oh, Outlook? Is it, like, does it make it kind of... Yeah, it looks off. Okay. 
Outlook's just like generally a pretty crappy program, can we all just agree? So <laughs> I'm not surprised that their dark mode isn't very good either. <laughs> It's like Mog, uh, Mogwai, bright light, bright light, yeah, 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 bright light, bright light, <laughs> yeah, it's like my eyes, it burns, <laughs> just call me a vampire, you have to use it for your work emails, yeah, I used to have to use Outlook for my uni job too. Hi, Avenity, how are you going? Good to have you here with us, welcome. It's gonna be so much work, I hope I won't disappoint the audience, just do what you can, Alexa, make sure you're having fun, that's the main thing. Um, okay, so let me show you guys, um, yeah, the, the Townieville kind of hood that I want to create. So, uh, <laughs> runs to subscribe to Alexa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't subscribe to Alexa on YouTube, you have to, you, you should be. Um, so this map is by Catherine. I always get Catherine's letters wrong. Is it Catherine TCJD? I can never, I, I, I always get the letters around the wrong way, but this is by Catherine. This is Bella Bend. Uh, so it's a map that she released somewhat recently. As you can see, it's completely empty. <laughs> so as I said, I really haven't done much. Um, it does have a downtown attached because I want to renovate downtown and move in downtown -y families as part of this series. So downtown is here. Downtown. I have messed with like a little bit, uh, moving some lots around. I've started doing some renovations. Uh, this is the, the version of downtown, which I did the renovation of this beautiful <laughs> house of fallen trees in. Uh, but so if we zoom out here, you'll see that things do look a little bit different. I've just kind of moved, moved a lot of lots around, created some extra space and sort of set this area over here up for uh, I want it to be like parklands over here, some residential, I want there to be a high school here. Uh, I played with some hood deco, sky skyscrapers, um, and there's like a little bit of shady looking hood deco down here by the water, which I'll do some more stuff with as well. I think, did I end up putting, um, yeah I did end up putting these in here. Um, so this downloads folder that we currently have in the game is for me extraordinarily minimal <laughs> um, I'm gonna struggle with building with it for sure because I haven't finished putting it together yet I haven't finished um, collecting recolors yet I've started hi Nervo Sims I'm feeling <laughs> it's good to see you though it's good to be live um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've started, I wanted to just do like some, so that the whole purpose of this, this series and this downloads folder and everything is that it's going to be easy to share with people and also easy for my computer to run. So I'm collecting recolors mostly by, um, Haffy. <laughs> Sorry, my brain just had a little fart there. Yeah, Haffy and probably Michelle. And those will be the two main recolor artists I'm using, but I just have to like go through and make sure I've got every recolors for everything. Um, and then the custom content is all like Maxis add-ons. Uh, so it's very Sims 2 Maxis matchy. Uh, so far at least. <laughs> we'll see how we go when it comes time to build community lots. Because whenever I try to build community lots, that's when I'm like, I need custom content right now <laughs> in a big bag. <laughs> um, but so what I have done is I have sorted out um, our townies into families. Um, so a lot of townies uh, and down townies, I should say. Hey, Spotty B, what are we building? We're going to be building some homes for some townies. Um, so this is my new project, uh, which is like a townie neighborhood. But yeah, so I've sorted sorted the downtownies and I think that yeah, the Pleasant View townies are all in families now. Sandy Broody is still single because you know you just can't tie Sandy Broody down. Um, I thought I had more families than this to be honest. Hmm. I'll have to see what's up with that because I sort of sworn I did, but that's okay. Um. 
yeah, so but anyway, I basically I've started sorting people out into families. Um, and I have a spreadsheet which controls all, as always. So I thought tonight it might be fun to renovate some, um... Oh, good, Spotty Bee, no worries. Hi, Ella! Thank you so much for your well wishes. Um, yeah, the fam is doing okay. Um, I'm, I'm still... Um, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> You'd be flattening a lot of that terrain, but the undulation's realistic. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna... I'm not sure if I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. It is quite slopey dopey lopey. But building with slopes in The Sims 2 is something that I kind of want to get better at. Um, this though, I don't like this. How it like, well, how it sort of shoots up. Um, we may flatten out that road, yeah. Because I feel like... That's just a bit nicer, isn't it, really? Yeah. Uh, and whatever's going on over here... Oh, whoops. I think I just, like, completely messed this whole area up. Oh, I did. So... Yeah, we'll have some lumpy bumpies, but not... Not heaps. Hi, Nini! Hi August, yes I did see this, sorry yes, let me, let me give a huge disclaimer that this whole project is very much inspired by Annie Bat, so I'm totally copycatting her. Um, my families are a little different to the ones that she put together, um, but it's very much, yeah, inspired by what she did. 100%. Over here we have a guy who lives, um, this is just the overseer family so this is just the guy who I moved in <laughs> um and he was who I used to basically just move all the townies and downtownies in and make them into families and stuff so this guy's not going to be part of the hood unless we really want to keep him but he's just kind of here um I do just want to check so do I have anyone left I do still have a couple of people left as townies. Oh, okay. That that explains it. So it's up to us if we want to actually move these guys into their own households. I guess we should, considering that that's the whole point of the series. And in the downtownies family, I still have a few as well. Oh, interesting. I could have sworn I finished sorting them all out, but that's okay. Uh, how to flatten the terrain. The uh, neighborhood, uh, what's the cheat? It's a cheat that you can uh, enable in The Sims 2. I think it's edit neighborhood terrain enabled. Or modify, modify neighborhood terrain enabled. Something like that. Or modify neighborhood terrain on. And then you use the brackets and the backslash key to either raise, lower, or flatten the terrain. It's very imperfect um, and very tedious. Anywho, what I was thinking we could do uh, was mess with some of these uh, beautiful lot bin lots <laughs> and do some renos of some lot bin houses. I know, again, that Kat has done all of these. And I could just download her renovations. But you guys know me. I like to do things myself. So um, I was thinking it might be fun just to go through and just start renovating these houses. Whether we do them as 10 minute renos or just you guys let me go wild and just try to renovate the crap out of them. <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> what you'd rather see. You love lot bin renos? Yeah. Yeah. I love them too. Um, am I going to do multi-roads, Alex? No. <laughs> unless, unless I can send you the hood and you can do it for me. <laughs> <coughs> It'll take as long as it takes. Okay, cool. Um, the first thing, though, that I wanted to do was I kind of wanted to, like, plan out some areas for this neighbourhood. Um... So I want to have like a commercial district, I want to have kind of like a, I think over here makes sense as like a housing development maybe, um, and yeah, it is a pretty big hood, 
Oh, you switched to your laptop? Nice, yeah. How many roads has the town got? <laughs> Quite a lot, man. Quite a lot. Um... You hear the song so much now after adding it to the game? Nice. The Lobbin houses have such a big lot size for no reason. WTF Maxis, yes they do. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking maybe like... Hmm... I feel like this area makes the most sense as like a commercial center. This area here. Um, so I might just pop in a placeholder community lot and be like, this will be a commercial area. And then, yeah, maybe like a housing development down here. Uh, and then over here we could do... Maybe some like, like wealthy, a wealthy area. Like some, some fancy schmancy homes, you guys know what I mean? Um... Gonna, oh dear, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, wait up. Got some some wibbly wobbly roads going on over here. But yeah, I feel like with the bridges and the hill and then this nice waterfront area, we could have a bit of like a wealthy area. Yeah, Rich Island. Yeah. Oh, Jet Set, your game keeps crashing. I'm so sorry that it's crashing on you. That's so annoying. I've been having a lot of trouble with um, my laptop with running um, Hanson River. It likes to crash quite a lot on there. And I know there's nothing wrong with the hood, and I know there's nothing wrong with my downloads folder, it's just that it's I'm running it on my laptop. Um, and then if we wanted to, we could have a little bit of like a rural area kind of on the outskirts over here. Um, or we could just leave that as is. Uh, yeah, so this can be like a main drive into town. We could have a couple of houses around here. Maybe on this road we could have some housing. Yeah, okay. But I think this area would make the most sense as kind of like a relatively low wealth um, suburb. No, I downloaded this one, Nini. This is by Catherine TCJD. I think it's TCJD. I'm so sorry, Kat, if I'm getting that wrong. Uh, it's available on Mod The Sims. Um, I'll grab a link for it, hold on. Bella Bend. Catherine. Okay, it's not TCJD. Uh, hang on. Sims 2. Here it is. Oh, it is TCJD. No, I was right. Oh, good on me. <laughs> um, better than I think. Yeah, access violation is the hardest crash to solve, unfortunately, Jatset, because it can just be, like, pretty much anything. Um, have you have you got your DE picks, DEP fix done? Because that one really helps me. The data execution preventable thing that I'm pretty sure the, the Jessa... Uh, Jessa channel really popularised. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking we'll start by just lining up some of these fabulous lot bin houses and we're gonna try to pick, like, pick apart these for <laughs> some renovations. And then what I'm thinking would look kind of fun with Townieville would be a lot of repeated lots. Uh, so like... We'll renovate them and then we'll put them back in the lot, vi lot bin and then we'll have some very repeated patterns of housing. That sounds like the thing you tried just before you gave up and cooked dinner. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, this one looks like a house that belongs in Veronaville. This one looks like it really needs a lot of help. But if it was done up nicely, it might be able to go in the wealthy neighborhood. Victorian value. Oh, lordy. 
Cape Cod Classic. Yeah, I can do some stuff with this. Okay, let's start with the first one though. Well, I can't wait to do this one. <laughs> let's start with this one. Just this little ranch retreat, two bedroom, one bathroom. Let's see what I can do. Yes, it is. We may lot adjust to that one. Um, I will. I will be using lot adjuster on a lot of these. Okay, so this house. Huh, huh, huh. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? So cute. All right, let me get started here. So, in terms of my downloads folder, um, just to give you guys an idea of what's in here. Um, I have got a lot of Honeywell's content, uh, so I've got like, uh, I don't know if I have the bespoke build set in here, I might not yet, I haven't decided if I'm going to put that one in yet, but I've got add-ons for like all of the Maxis windows and doors, I've got uh, all of Honeywell's like interior and exterior walls, um, I've got Life Stories bricks, and I've got um, some stuff by ICAD. Just some really basic stuff that's really easy to find and download, essentially. Like this brick here is Life Stories brick. Um, yeah. So this stuff is all recolors of um, Maxis walls in ICAD colors. You use my windows? Oh, bless. White townhouse in the lot, Bingus. We heart palpitations, really. The ranch retreat, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I'm gonna make it a little bit nicer. For example, this wallpaper is just vastly superior to the other wallpaper. Don't you agree? That was like when I was watching Alex Art build his fabulous um, uh, apartment complex and I was like, wait a minute, I know those windows, I made those. <laughs> that was kind of fun. House from the Wizard of Oz? I guess, a little bit. It was kind of random, but yeah, I think I see what you mean. Not bad for a starter. <laughs> they looked so good, Alex. I was like, yes. I'm so glad I like created these windows and that they're being used. Cause I thought it I thought it looked really nice on your build. <laughs> okay. So in terms oh and I have a lot of really nice collection folders as well that I've put together. I have been working on this off and on for a little while, but I've put together a bunch of collection folders um, for like four add-on collections basically, which kind of makes me happy. And then I've got Honeywell's collection folders. I've got all of the original Maxis collection folders. I think I realized the other day, yeah, I actually accidentally took something out. Oh, I have got bespoke in here. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had bespoke in here, but I do. Right. Um, yeah, lots of like, oh, I also downloaded all of the store content, um, which I'd never done before, <laughs> if you can believe that. But so I got all of this like, uh, like art deco stuff that was like Sims 2 store content or like pre-order content. Um, it's been a really fun adventure of discovering what, yeah, like Max's stuff is out there. So, anyway. I feel like maybe for this house... Could we go for... I'm gonna try not to use the bespoke build set in absolutely everything. Am I gonna share the houses? Yes, that is the plan. I feel like maybe because it's meant to be like a ranch house 
We could go for some more countryfied windows. You guys, you guys feel me? Some of these ones, maybe? I will also say that uh, most, if not all of the recolors I have for build content are by ICAD. Some tea attic windows. <laughs> I don't actually have the tea attic windows <coughs> in this downloads folder. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's like custom content I made myself and I haven't even included it. What am I doing? But no, I haven't actually got it in this folder. Maybe we could do this one over here. It look quite nice. Some of the story walls are wild. Life story walls. Sorry, I can't see. No, story walls. Oh, do you mean store? Sorry. Store content, I guess, I'm guessing is what you mean. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't put all of the life stories and pet story stuff in. I've got a lot of it. I don't have all of it. I feel like maybe with these windows it might look actually cuter. Kind of like that. Just having a couple right next to each other. Yeah. And then. I want this door, I think. Oh, life stories? Okay, I don't think I have those ones in. Is there a way to delete in-game content from the game? Max's content? No, you can't delete Max's content. You can download something called Hiders, which will hide the content um, from, your, from appearing in your catalog, but no, you can't actually delete them. Oh, the classic, I just deleted it, but uh, the classic tiny Maxis bathroom with two doors for no reason. Oh, every time Maxis, every time. Functional pet items, yes, I need to get those. I was watching them, uh, uh, Annie used them in her video where she made over the planetary pet park. And I was like, those are awesome. Why do I not have those in my game yet? So, I do need to get those. On my list. Window over there. Mm. Yeah, we'll just put one window there, I think. The life stories walls and floors are really pretty mostly, although some go really well with the hippie set from the uni. The groovy set? Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Let's see. Now, do I want to mess with layouts, uh, like floor plans, or do I want to try to stick to the Maxis floor plans if they're not too horrible? This one I don't feel like is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I probably could stick, stick to it. Burn the groovy set. <laughs> Alex and I are going to get rid of it. We're just like, nah, we don't want it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Bye bye. Paint everything. <laughs> Stick to it, it's more challenging. 
The Max's floor plan is okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the main things I have that you'll see is the Maxis Wood Floor Restoration Project, which is by iCAD on Mod The Sims. So I have all of uh, iCAD's recolored Maxis Wood Floors, which just really make the game a much more pleasant and playable experience. And is a really, really nice, really easy sort of like one-stop download place. I think I put Double Dash onto these these the other day, didn't I? Double Dash in a stream recently. I don't want to make everything too muted. You missed it? No, it's okay. I was just saying I am. Um, I have the Maxis Wood Floor Restoration Project in by iCAD. And then I was saying I think I I opened your eyes to that particular download recently, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? You need that? Yeah, iCAD. Maxis Wood Floor Restoration Project Game Changer. I also do have a couple of custom carpets. I have the ones by Honeywell. Um, and then I have created some of my own carpets, uh, which are recolors of Maxis textures as well. So I think I did. Grab some comfy Burberry colours by Vimpsies at Tumblr. And then, um, yeah, I made some carpet recolours. Which was kind of fun. I went on, um, like a flooring website. <laughs> and I looked at, I looked at their flooring swatches. And I used, uh, some of that to make some recolours. But it is... Cat has nice plain carpets, yes, she does. Um, it is very different and challenging for me, obviously, to build with such a vanilla folder. <laughs> I have I have a bunch of custom content in here, but still to me it's like, oh this is so vanilla. <laughs> Um, no, those are the wrong vibes. We're going like country vibes, aren't we? Yeah. Like low key, low key country vibes. God, I'm sweating already. <laughs> this is this problem. I'm so, I'm so hot all the time. <laughs> oh god. It's a pregnancy thing for anyone who's confused, but it's rough, man. <laughs> it's rough. Maybe we'll bring the kitchen out by a tile? That could look nice. Ooh, my half walls are unhappy. All right. You okay? Let me just regenerate your thumbnails there. You're all good. Just wait till Friday. I'm gonna die on Friday. <sighs> no, it's okay. We'll have the aircon cranked, and I will. Hide in hide indoors, away from the evil of thirty nine degrees forecast randomly on a November day. It's just so random, like it's out of nowhere. I feel just like oh hey, have a uh, have a de have a thirty nine degree Celsius forecast. Ew, no thanks. I think I would really like to make some recolors of this particular wall as well. I feel like that could be nice. This is one of my favorite bathroom walls, but 
It only has the one color. So I might I might make some recolors of that. I do like this one quite a lot too, and this would be another really easy one to recolor. It's not even summer yet. Yeah, but it's just, it's so random. It's like... The day before is like 24 degrees or 25 degrees and the day after is like 25 degrees again and it's just this one day that's like 39 degrees Celsius. That would be interesting a vanity, but I'd probably need a lot more custom content than what I've currently got <laughs> in my folder. You always think of your mum with hot weather. She went through all of summer pregnant with me the last uh, three months. Oh man, no thank you. Yeah, my friend um, from my mum's group is pregnant and she's uh, 20 weeks. Yeah, so she's gonna have to go through all of summer. Uh, up the duff and is going to be, she doesn't have the best air conditioning in her house, so. Good luck to you, love. <laughs> That's gonna be a bit rough. Yes, I feel like this dingy blue, dingy-ish blue wallpaper is giving me life. Yeah. I like that for this house. Born with three days left in summer, yeah. You went from 28 to 18 or 15 overnight last week. Tw crazy times, yeah. <laughs> the sun is probably like, I'll burn it. I think I'll just burn everything on Friday. Yeah, pretty much. It just wants to give us a taste of what's coming in summer. It's like, hey guys. Just, uh, just so you know. This is the kind of summer we're going to be dealing, you're going to be dealing with this year. <laughs> Me trying to use Max's content and I've got like no idea what anything is. How are the fires going, Joe? How is um how are your friends? Are they okay? That uh that couple you were telling us about? Um Yeah, how's how's Queensland faring? Is is it still sort of pretty uncontrolled or Do I wanna make it look old fashioned or modern? Mmm. make it look more modern than that. That money I was talking about, we're putting aircon in before we do anything else. Right now we have ceiling fans for no aircon. Oh my gosh, get yourself some air conditioning. Stat, jet set. Stat. I know you guys live in the mountains, but like, in this climate? <laughs> You're gonna want some serious uh, air conditioning help in there. Yeah, I think I'll go back to this. I like that. Okay. You had good weekend rain? Oh, that's good. And your friends are okay. Oh, I'm glad to hear your friends are okay. Like, that 
that's a nice chandelier. Where did I get that one from? I wonder if that's from store content. Oh, no custom lights. I think I do have the... I do have the fix in for this light though, don't I? Yes. Okay, so I can use this one. Fifty-four homes lost. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, that's a good idea. Definitely go the reverse cycle. Do you know what's actually pretty impressive is how cool this room stays. Um, my little my little studio up here in the shed. It stays so nice and cool during the day, even when it's quite significantly warm outside, because we put in some really nice, uh, rather rather pricey um, insulation because it's a, a studio. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I should have titled this stream? <laughs> custom Content Addict Attempts to Build with No Custom Content. <laughs> or just, like, something along those lines. CC addict, G addict, uh, tries to do renovations with a very limited downloads folder. Watch her struggle and miss all of her CC. That could look nice, actually. Yeah, what if we do a bit of this? Let's make this roof a little bit nicer. Some content anti addict, that's it. The torture stream has begun. She's already dying. So I do have some nice plant add ons as well uh, from various places that I found. And some of them have some nice little recolors too. I've got uh, these add-ons for these shrubs as well. These shrubby shrubs, the mid mid biscuits, is that what they are? Yeah, and some recolors for those. Vanilla Sims 4. Oh, we should do that at some point. I feel like the last time we played The Sims 4 when I was checking out the babies and toddlers update and just after like two and a half hours or three hours was just so fed up with the game. It would be that but even worse because I actually did have some mods and CC in at that point. <laughs> what do we all think about the um, the four rent expansion pack announcement? Let's have a Sims Four chat in uh, in chat here. What do we think about that one, guys? Oh, that's cute. Could easily shrink five tiles off of each side of this lot, but since we've got the space, we could also put in a driveway. 
I do also have an invisible recolor of the driveway in because obviously. Landscapes are well, I can never do it right. Um, try to build it up. That's my that's my main tip with landscaping is is start small and just try to sort of build it up bit by bit. Um, start with like a, a low level of plants and then do a slightly like me medium level of plants and then a slightly higher level of plants. I hope that makes sense. That's my that's my advice for you there, Double Dash. Wait, where was this thing? Okay. I hate that your tenants can die of mold. It seems way too real and they made it also cutesy. Mm-hmm. How did they make it so boring, Jad said? <laughs> I have no idea. You heard about it, you have not looked to know. I've only watched the uh, the trailer. I haven't read anything on the pack uh, at all. Four is only usual for four to two conversions. As for the new app, why wasn't that part of City Living already? Mm. <laughs> It's like my first pet pack, but for City Living August, add on for an expansion. That's my main question. I'm like, okay, so is this now going to make City Living obsolete? Or like, what's going to happen to the apartment lots that are, yeah, in City Living? Because, <laughs> I don't know, it seems, seems just a little bit odd, doesn't it? <laughs> And actually, now that I've done that landscaping, do I want to do... No, I don't like that as much. Do I want to do something like that? Do I want to do... That could be nice. Feels like TS4 has everything for build a bow, but so little for gameplay. Mm. You have no thoughts of Vanity? Didn't see it, but waiting for the four to two conversions nonetheless. Only then will I form an opinion. You'll give it a go. I've still got a lot of lots to renovate in my beginner pleasant view. Yeah. Where did I get these bush add-ons? Um. Okay, so I have this one. Is a really big one by T Vicky Sims. I think these other ones. Let me, let me find out for you. The flocks ones. I think they're all by T-Vicky Sims. I think. Unless I have another one hiding in here that I'm not aware of. Yeah, you might have them. TVK's a great, uh, great place to go for plants. <laughs> that is for sure. Um... My other tip for landscaping double dash, turn snapping off. It really does help. You don't need snapping on for placing uh, flowers. Move objects on and uh, turn snapping off. Indoor plants? Oh god. Yeah, just head to Tumblr. Still can't create your own worlds in TS4, so how useful will apartments really be? A lovely apartment complex in the vampire world. 
<laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But clearly that would all be far too complicated for the average Sims player. You know, the ability to create your own completely custom world. No, 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 no. Far too advanced. I think um, that The Sims 4 really has run its course and they need to give up on it. <laughs> Morning, Clarchy. I think um, it's just, you know, enough's enough. I think even like, you know, the big Sims 4 YouTubers are kind of over The Sims 4 at this point and not really having that much fun with it anymore. Um, yeah, I know you did, Jadze, yeah. I think I finally did a good job with it renovating the Burb household. Oh, yay! I'm, I'm glad, uh... Glad we can keep you company while you work, Clarchy. Yes, turn the plants, yeah. Flogging a dead horse, yeah. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the enthusiasm for new packs is just lower and lower every time. And that, in general, people just aren't that excited for new Sims 4 content anymore. I don't know if I'm just projecting <laughs> my own opinions. I could be. Uh... And maybe I'm just not watching the right channels. But it seems to me like the enthusiasm is waning. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember the, the pack announcements for The Sims 3. Oh my gosh. That was so exciting. <coughs> Oh gosh, are those the swatches I used? Okay, there we go. <laughs> you just pirate it whenever you get the urge? Nice. I mean, I don't support piracy of The Sims 4, no. I'm a good moral upstanding citizen. <laughs> you couldn't play the game anymore because you were so goddamn excited. Yeah, see, when um, Sims 2 packs were being released, I wasn't really, like... We had, we had no money, so I had no means to buy them. <laughs> so, I've told this story a lot before, so I won't repeat it again, but... My first experience with a lot of the Sims 2... Exp well, pretty much all of the Sims 2 expansion packs was when I got the Ultimate Collection. And um, just reading people's gameplay stories on the exchange. Jed said, I hear you about the, the mod updates. The, and the unfortunate thing is, like, haven't, like, my understanding is that they've more or less announced that they're going to continue updating The Sims 4 forever. 
if my understanding is is correct. So, like, essentially, the modders are never going to catch a break. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're, they're never going to be able to actually switch off and uh, not worry about updates to the game anymore, are they? I thought I had the hood alarms in. Oh, I must not. Well, that's disappointing. Unless they're in... Oh, no, they're in here. Mmm, OCD triggered. <laughs> they don't line up. Why don't you line up? That's better. I always knew I would get a pack for my birthday and Christmas from hubby. Oh, <laughs> mine was coming home from school and seeing the physical disc waiting for me. Those are the days. Oh, yeah. You remember asking your mum to buy you Nightlife, uh, but she didn't want to because she was afraid of the content in it. It wasn't as bad as, um, hot date. <laughs> Sims 1. So if your mum had experience with Sims 1 packs, I don't blame her for being a little bit unsure. Or like house party, live in large for the Sims one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're currently playing a little Sims 4 at the moment and there's a lot of the time I'm Googling to see if there's a fix or a mod to disable certain interactions. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't have anything against modding the crap out of a game to make it more playable, okay? I mean, you guys have seen my Sims 2 downloads folder. So, I, I get that, like, a hundred percent. I'm like, yeah, no, I feel you. But, um, well, those shouldn't be in there. Oh, I don't currently have Better Bath in by Honeywell. Chat, let me know. Am I allowed to put Honeywell's Better Bath set in for my super vanilla gameplay? I mean, Maxis add-ons downloads folder. <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to do that? Because, uh... Better Bath is Maxis Match. It's just better. You need it? Yes, do it. <laughs> this one would be amazing if I had an aging system. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> I need Better Bath. It's Maxis Match. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, cool. Right, I'm glad I have. I'm glad I have all yours permission. To be honest, I probably would have done it anyway. <laughs> but yes, good, 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 good. So if you're interested in uh, putting together your own Maxis add-ons folder, I do highly recommend uh, a Huge Lunatic because her stuff is great. Looney has really, really good, really nice Maxis add-ons. Oh, I do also have, I have a crap ton of extracted uh i know yeah <laughs> you twisted my arm oh it's just so hard to convince me um honeywell is like vanilla yeah yeah oh that's okay alex no worries drive safe love yeah i have a crap ton of ex uh extracted max's content in here and i have um like all this like kitchen stuff that you see here i have got nooks and niches in um, because I really like nooks and niches. It's a great, great, uh, set of custom content. And if you don't have it, you're missing out.
Like, I need to be able to add a toilet paper roll. Otherwise, it's just going to irritate me. All right, wait. You can sit a bespoke Max's match to it might be stretching it, though. <laughs> Maybe. I think it's, like, Max's match. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly put in um, better bath. I think it's, like, Max's match. It might not be um, Max's add-ons, but Max's match, sure. So, this is how we get better bath. A Maxis bathroom makeover. Uh, is this everything? And my windows? <laughs> You're like, T, be loyal to yourself. <laughs> I want to redo those windows. Okay, so this is a recolors, accessories, plumbing. Rug recolors. Like, do I need all of these files? I don't need the base game stuff. I know that. Okay, there we go. Why do I want to redo them? I want to make the bounding mesh work properly so if you've ever used my windows before you'll know that to actually grab a hold of the windows or to recolor the windows is quite difficult the, the like the hitbox on them is quite small um and that was basically because i had no idea what i was doing when i was creating those windows and i need to remake them with um the entire frame in and glass included in the bounding mesh yeah um, and I was also wanting to add on some doors and I was also considering just making them a little bit bigger, but, um, I also wanted to change a couple of, uh, values in the TXMTs, which to make them less shiny, <laughs> there's, there's lots of little things that I now know and understand about custom content creation that I had no idea about when I made those windows, so... Yeah, there's lots of little improvements I could make. And I want to, yeah, add on, uh, make some doors that match. I would rate, um... What was I gonna say? <laughs> I would rate Bespoke Build Set as more Maxis Match than 4 to 2 conversions. <laughs> if we're talking Sims 2 Maxis Match, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. We've got our little bathroom. Now, should I fully furnish these houses, guys, or should I just leave them like like this, and then we'll furnish according to whoever moves in. What do we think? Yeah, Fortitude Conversions, that's like a whole other game, you know? Like a whole, a whole other kettle of fish. But yeah, do I want to furnish up like some bedrooms? 
or just leave it sort of as is. I feel like, have I made this kitchen too big for the size of the house? Maybe I have. I'm just kind of thinking, because this whole area is taken up by doorways. I could move that doorway to there. You could squeeze a little dining table in here, maybe? And then have this area be your living room. I love a big kitchen, but it might be too big. Kitchen's good. Joe, you would move it in a tile? I'm tempted to actually move it, like, back a tile. Just add on a little... I said I wasn't going to mess with the floor plans. <laughs> Neck minute. T, what you doing? You know, just... Just a little bit of, of jiggery-pokery. Never hurt anyone. You know. Just kind of like this. Didn't expect to see me streaming. Yeah, I almost didn't stream. And then Alex messaged me and he was like, are you streaming? I miss you. And I was like, okay, I'll stream. <laughs> I'll do a chill build stream. Uh, so that's what we're doing. But yes, thank you. I am slowly getting better. Um, I've, I've really been a hot mess, guys. I really have. <laughs> There's no other way of, of putting it. I have been not well. Um, like that's kind of cute, kind of. The little, yeah, that's better. I like that better. And then we could also have access from the driveway around to the back door. Kind of like so. With this like privacy fence around the, excuse me, around the backyard. <coughs> You gotten really picky with adding laundries to Sims houses? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this house uh would not have the space for that. You would be looking at um definitely needing a laundromat. <laughs> That's kinda cute. And then what we could do as well is we could uh move the <laughs> bin into the backyard. But I feel like this is adorable. Doesn't a picket fence just make a build so much cuter? It's not as ranchy though. Like if it's meant to be the ranch retreat, should we go with like this fence instead of the picket fence? Ugh, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, maybe we should, but I don't like it. Um... <laughs> it's very sweet now. Clara was vomiting Thursday night and Friday morning until 5.30, but she got better quickly. Didn't have any other symptoms of gastro, so I don't know what it was. Ooh, yuck. She might have just eaten something bad or that didn't agree with her. Poor thing. Yeah, Aiden actually, like, really didn't have it too bad. He vomited a few times, but it got over. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't terrible. Um, Paul and I, it was, it was... A, a, like half a day of vomiting and a day of yeah the runs um to put it politely okay so let's uh package this one i will actually rename it uh t 
TA Reno. So if you guys want it, I'll share it on Discord. You ate the same food though and you were okay? Hmm, could have been something else. <laughs> Cheers to Alex for messaging too, yeah. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna pop a copy of that into the Lots and Houses bin so we can put down multiple of it. Now this little guy here looks fairly similar to that house, but it's like up on a foundation and has a bay window. So I wonder if we can make this house kind of match it a little bit better. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this on Discord or not, but the other thing that I did, which has been really difficult and why I keep grabbing my side, is I pulled a muscle. <laughs> I pulled a muscle um, just, just across here, like just under my ribs, uh, at the top of my, my pregnancy belly. I don't exactly remember the moment it happened, because I think I was half asleep, but basically I was coughing and I tried to roll over and I just pulled something. I don't know if it was the movement I made or the cough more so, but yeah, pulled a muscle in my, um, in my side and it's been very painful. <laughs> this is the strangerhood house, is it? Mm, if you say so. Um, but yeah, so that's that's really sucked. I really wish I hadn't done that uh, because it's made this recovery just a whole lot more, yeah, painful, basically. Ugh. Yeah, big ouchie. And so as, though, as if it's not already hard enough for me to move at the moment, like just in general, just to maneuver myself, <laughs> roll from side to side, you know. Um, yeah, add a pulled muscle to that. Not a happy time, not a happy tea addict. Okay, so I'm thinking this little housey here, I kind of want to go like craftsman windows. What's the original craftsman wind window? Why can't I see it? <laughs> Yeah, moving with a pulled muscle while pregnant sounds like the worst. Yes, and so um, every every time I've coughed as well um, has been extremely uncomfortable because um, coughing, you know, makes me able to feel that that pulled muscle. So yeah, I've, as I said, I've been a hot mess, guys. <laughs> I've been a hot mess. Um. You post a link in Discord? Let me check it out. Uh... Oh, okay. Right, I see what you're talking about now. I don't think I ever caught that machinima series, so I was a little bit confused as to what exactly you were talking about. <laughs> but it makes a bit more sense now. I see. There's a lot of windows on this house. I think I might be a little bit more thoughtful about where they are placed. Just one kitchen window will be fine. Hmm. 
You loved watching it? Uh, no, that's fair, that's fair. I'm sure it was an excellent uh, machinima. Oh! Okay, so this floor plan... I don't think we need that door. We can just have access to the kit to the bathroom be through the kitchen, that's fine. Why? Why the bump out? Okay, well, okay. Can I live with it? Maybe. Um, right. I really don't like the craftsman add-on doors is the only problem. It's still on YouTube? Oh, fun! See if you can uh, chase up a link for it, Double Dash. I'll watch it to help me fall asleep later. <laughs> Nice. Someone put all the episodes together. It's an hour and ten minutes. Cool. Cool. I'll check it out. Okay, so... Just much happier and nicer. Happy colours make me a happy chappy. Do some nice, yeah, just some nice brick for the foundation. Don't hate that. Mm. I feel like maybe let's go for two sets of stairs. Because no one ever complained about having an extra space to walk up the stairs, did they? Oh, maybe... Maybe we'll actually do... This brown brick. Yeah. And it kind of ties in with the roof and the windows. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so with this one, with the landscaping, again, we got heaps of room for a driveway. That's always good. Looks nice? I think it looks nice too. Put a little gravel path. I'm going along there towards where the driveway is. And then the driveway can be paved concrete. Mm, don't actually like that. Maybe we'll make it to rain paint and just the all gravel. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, right. <clears throat> now let's get. Um, I do love these little bushes quite a lot. What recolors do I have of you? The babbling bougainvillea. Very, very cute and happy bushes. And then we could put some just going along there. Maybe I will just extend the driveway out to be even. Whoops. Otherwise that just looks odd, doesn't it? Yeah. But I think we'll have a different idea going here. Maybe we'll have a little bit of fencing. Hi Windows XP. Welcome in. Sorry I missed you coming into chat there. <laughs> You caught me in a little bit of a little bit of a focused mode there. Um, how you doing? <laughs> I seem to remember you from not long ago, Windows XP. Um, I loved Windows XP. Windows XP was amazing. That was like actually my jam. Fellow Windows XP lovers unite. No version of Windows has been quite as good as Windows XP was. Since Windows XP was a thing. It was game changing back in the day, yeah. You have a lot where a parking texture is stuck to the floor but there's no parking objects there? That's odd. Can you send us a picture in Discord? A wee tree in the corner there. That's quite cute. A couple more babbling bogan billiards. And then we'll get these. And like so. For a little bit of something, something there. You're from Romania. Oh, cool. Well, welcome in. Um, I'm from Australia, as is many of our audience tonight. Um, but I hope things are good in Romania today. And that, uh, yeah, you guys are having a good, uh, I guess it's fall in Romania or autumn. I hope you guys are having a, a nice autumn. Oh, you did it to yourself? You think shrinking the lot had something to do with it? Oh dear. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry to hear that uh, it's causing trouble. to the back but just for privacy we may cut that off yeah
One pet peeve of mine, for sure, with the base Sims 2 game is the lack of matching uh, gates for the fences. Drives me nuts, man. You first grew up with DOS and Windows 98? We... I don't remember if we had a DOS computer. I don't think we did, but we had Windows 95, for sure. Um, I think that was on our first PC. And then we moved to Windows 98, and then Windows 2000, and then Windows XP, and yeah, really, really uh, worked, our, worked our way up through the ranks of Windows <laughs> over time, slowly but surely. A nice tree. Uh, one good tip with these Maxa slots that have weirdly large lots is you don't actually have to use the whole lot. Like, I've just left this side over here completely blank. And then in the future, we're, as we're playing, you know, if we want to expand the house, we've got room to do so. But fencing, fencing within the lot and not fencing, like, all around the edges uh, can, make a, can make a big difference. The stair rails with no matching fences. Yeah! CC gates are hard to find, yeah. My mum was very familiar with DOS because her first job was like uh, being a typist um, and actually did a lot of work in. She actually did, yeah, a lot of work in. Um, with computers as a as a youngin, as they were sort of being developed and up and coming. So she actually always knew a fair, like a surprising amount about computers back in the day. I now know tons more than she does. <laughs> but back in the day, she was fairly knowledgeable. And it was always mum who was like enthusiastic about getting computers and like upgrading our computers and having the latest computer. That was all, that was all mum. But then it was my dad who enjoyed video games and would sit down and watch us play Banjo-Kazooie and Mario and help us out and play games with us when he got home from work. You stuck with 95 for a long time, maybe had 98 on a laptop. You remember XP very clearly? Yeah, I remember XP um, mostly because that was the main OS when I was going through school, in particular, I think high school was very much Windows XP era. And so during the time that I probably like learnt the most about computers uh, was, was the Windows uh, XP era. So for me, that's very, very familiar. I'm glad YouTube's recommending me. <laughs> <laughs> what a stream to be recommending me half dead just like I thought I'd do some building <laughs> Not even building I'm renovating. I'm cheating on building. Oh gosh But I'm glad to have you here in any case Okay, I want this door. It's gonna be very difficult about it. Got it. <laughs> Can you please face the way I want you to face? There we go, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Windows XP. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate that so much, thank you. Um, sorry, you, you must be a bit confused, but I have been quite ill recently, so that's why I'm a little bit sort of like low energy and bleh. Uh, as, yes, it's been a, been a bit of a rough trot with illness for me lately, so. Usually I'm a little bit more, uh, pizzazzy. <laughs> Thank you. 
And yes, I'm nine months pregnant. Officially tomorrow, I think, is nine months pregnant. Wait, let me check my app. Because officially tomorrow is 36 weeks. Um... Yeah, officially tomorrow I'm in my ninth, ninth month of pregnancy. <laughs> I'm so over it. Please make it stop. I would like to be comfortable again. <laughs> That's the main thing, honestly, for me at the moment. don't hate these kitchen counters, actually. Um, but we might switch them out for... Just these ones, because I feel like the style of the house would suit them. Yeah, I just want to be comfortable again <laughs> uh, in pregnancy. It's it's rough. So basically, those of you who were around while I was pregnant with Aiden, which is many of you. Hi, Purple Rose Gamer. Welcome. Yes, I am pregnant, Windows XP. I'm due with my second baby uh, in a month. Four weeks to go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for those of you who are around when I was pregnant with my son, you'll remember that I had some trouble with him not wanting to find a good position and stay there. He was quite, uh, quite a little wriggler, quite a little mover and shaker. He would, yeah, he was swimming around in there, flipping around until the very last minute, basically. Um, and unfortunately I'm dealing with that again with, with, uh, this one, with Peaches. Um, because, yeah, she, she just has heaps of room to move. She doesn't want to hold, she doesn't want to stay put. Um. And so the doctors are kind of already talking about things like booking cesarean sections and, um, Worrying about, yeah, malpositioned babies and breech babies and stuff like that. Um, and so I have to be very, very conscious of my posture. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I really, 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 really don't want to have a C-section. I know there's absolutely nothing wrong with cesarean sections, so please don't think that I'm saying this because I'm, like, one of those awful people who's, like, cesarean sections, not real birth, or, like, anything rubbishy like that. Like, that's not me. The thing is, I have a toddler, and it's Christmas. <laughs> um... <laughs> And I really don't want to be out of action for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. You couldn't even pick up your eight-pound daughter. Oh, that's okay. No worries, Jet Set. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Say hi to your nephew. But yeah, just, just the recovery on a cesarean with a 16-month-old and Christmas time. Mm -mm. No, thank you. But so I have to be very conscious of how I sit and my posture. Um, because if I slouch too much or, you know, you, they generally say not to lay on your back in late pregnancy anyway. But even just like, so if I recline back on the couch or on a comfortable chair, what that does is it gives her even more room to flip and maneuver and go sideways and, and, and not be in the right position. So basically what that means is that I have to sit straight <laughs> at all points in time, if not sort of like inclined forwards. Um, and I can't, yeah, just like relax back onto a couch for the next month. <laughs> and it's been like this for weeks already. So it's just, it's just a bit of an uncomfortable end of pregnancy experience for me. Which is fun. I've dealt with it before, I can deal with it again, but it's just, it's a little bit sucky. That actually looks quite nice, I like that. And then...
Oh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. They are cute cabinets. Yeah, a lot of... So, most of my cabinet add-ons are by Mutsky on The Sims Resource. I actually don't have the counter completers set in the game currently by Nyx Navice, which is usually one of my go-tos for custom content counters or cabinets, sorry. But yeah, the counter add-ons and cabinet add-ons are mostly the ones by Mutsky on TSR. And then what you do is, of course, put the fridge over here. And then that's your little kitchen, little galley kitchen. Not bad at all. I don't hate that. And then you could put like a a little bin. Your first pregnancy, Purple Rose Gamer. Uh, you're in the middle of a shopping center with my husband. I suddenly stopped because I could feel him turning ready for birth. It hurt like hell. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, no, I I can feel her. Like, she she still has the ability to completely flip. Like, it, it's not exactly comfortable for me when she does. But she can still do it if she chooses to. And she chooses to do it relatively often. <laughs> so I I know when she moves. But it's just really hard for me as well mentally, I guess, to not obsess um, over it. Because I am a bit like that. <laughs> and so that's been a challenge too. Just to try to relax and let things be what it, what they'll be. Ooh, what's this sink? Oh, that's nice. That's an add-on to the Dynasty set, I think. Yeah. By Pineapple Forest. Wow, that's cool. I like that. All right, let's get a shower and a tub in. Oh, if anyone was, uh, yeah, pineapple has some nice stuff. Schmancy. If anyone was wondering as well, I am not sitting on my birth ball tonight because the birth ball has actually gone down into the house. <laughs> so I can sit on it during the day and, uh, yeah, while I haven't been able to spend much time up in my my office lately, it just seemed to make more sense to just have it down in the house. Nice, much cleaner looking thingamabobber. And then we might bring in some more cabinets. And we'll put my favorite bathroom sink there and then there's a little bit of counter space now this window I'm going to move there we can have a bathroom mirror mm. keep things a bit cheaper Feel so strange when I uh, speak English because I don't know how to speak English fluently. You don't know some words. Oh, that's okay, Windows XP. We don't judge. You probably speak English better than I do. <laughs> English is hard. Words are hard. So, uh, go easy on yourself. <laughs> now I realized I didn't actually repaint the walls in here so let's see if we want to do that I 
Oh, that's nice. And then in our main areas, I could do a little bit of this bespoke, not bespoke, but Honeywell. I feel like that is really nice and really kind of warms the area. Warms the room. Um, yeah, kitchen can stay fairly plain, but I wouldn't mind having, yeah, skirting boards in the ceilings. And then the bedrooms. We use British spelling and a lot of our own slang, yeah. <laughs> Most people seem to learn US English, never quite understood that. Mm, I don't know about that actually. Someone who's learnt English will have to tell us. How do you spell, um, colour? So Windows XP, how would you spell the word colour in English? I'm curious. <laughs> not to not to like call you out this isn't a test <laughs> it's just i'm curious <laughs> i used to get annoyed when you type color in a red line appears underneath it yep okay maybe we'll leave the rest of the walls neutral for now um, and then again, we can decorate them according to whichever family ends up moving in here. You'd write colour, but my English teacher was also super hardcore against American English. Ella, where are you from? Also, your username just reminded me. While I've been unwell, I've finally sort of gotten back into reading a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Um... Yeah, just, just, I've been meaning to get back into books, back into reading for such a long time. And, um, while I've been unwell, I haven't really had energy or focus for computers. And so I, I bought a book called The Angry Women's Choir because I was in Big W and it had a penguin stamp on it. And I was like, hey, penguin classic stamp must be good. Oh, you're from Germany. Okay. Yeah. As I just came back from a year of America, she made me relearn all of the writing and pronunciations. Oh no. Um, yeah, I bought this book called The Angry Women's Choir and I read that um, and it was really quite good. Um, and then Murtag, or Murtag, the next book in the Aragon series got released like today. So I have that ordered from Amazon. Hopefully I'll get it this week and I'm going to read that. And I've been reading a book about finance because I need to learn to manage money better. So that's been a, one good thing that's come, come out of being so sick uh, has been getting back into reading a little bit. Just wanted to share. Anyway, I think, I think I'm going to call this one done. Um, I think it's quite cute. Quite homey. I definitely wouldn't mind, yeah, living <coughs> living there or using it as a starter house. Yeah, I think it looks nice. <coughs> so I will rename this one again, just right. T A Reno. We will package that. Mm hmm And I will pop it back into the lots and houses bin. Massive improvement. Thank you, Double Dash. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> All right. One, I think we have time for one more house. So I'm going to let you guys vote real quick uh, which one you want to see me do. So we'll run a really quick poll. Uh, if I can remember how to do that on a <laughs> YouTube stream. Uh, oh, God. No, these polls suck. Uh, wait a minute. Can I say... Okay, yeah, no, I can. All right. Two or three. Which house? Okay. So, back to the game here. Sorry. 
This Cape Cod is house one. European townhouse is town is uh, house two. Or this uh, Bonnie Bungalow is house three. So tell me which one you want me to do. Cape Cod, uh, European townhouse, or Bonnie Bungalow? Let me know. <laughs> Double Dash, I'm pretty sure that you're on the Patreon tier where I'll build you houses if you want me to build for you. I'm pretty sure you are, aren't you? With that benefit that I added. Otherwise, just set yourself a 10 minute reno challenge, Double Dash. It's fun. You'll, uh, you'll get the hang of it in no time. <laughs> tier 2. Yeah, I think I included... Excuse me, I think I included that in tier two. So yes, I believe you qualify for lot build requests. You know, if that's something you want me to do. <laughs> I'd have to double check. You can upgrade to tier, you don't need to upgrade to tier three, double dash. I mean, I love you, but you don't have to. Um, okay. Sorry, let me... They changed the Patreon app recently, so I don't actually know my way around this app anymore. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, no, I don't think I can look at my... My audience members on the app. No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. All right, what have you guys voted for in our poll here? Uh, 53 votes for the Cape Cod Classic. I mean, sorry, not 53 votes. 53% <laughs> of the vote for the Cape Cod Classic, 40% for the European Townhouse, and only 3, 7% uh, for this one here. If you haven't voted yet, please do vote. Um, otherwise I will end that poll in about 30 seconds. Which one do you love, Double Dash? The Cape Cod Classic? I actually have a really special place in my heart for the European townhouse. Uh, simply because it was the first house that I ever put down in game and moved a sim into. Ever. My first ever time playing The Sims 2. And I remember the sim, she had the, the wavy hair blue eyes. I think she was like a wavy brunette, blue eyes. And uh, yeah, that was that was her house. European townhouse all the way for you too, Ella. Yeah. Number one is so symmetrical and crunchy. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and the poll and we will do the Cape Cod classic uh, to finish out stream tonight. Thank you all so much for chilling with me, by the way, while I just <laughs> renovate and hang out because <laughs> this is this has like been good medicine for my for my soul. Cape Cod needs a wall exchange for the upper floor, otherwise the temperature gets messed up. Oh okay. Number two reminds you of Delilah Ophi from one of the universities. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I get you. Alright, so this house. Oh yeah, it'd be these walls here. Yeah, these roof walls. Uh, what awkward... Oh, do you know what I just realised? In my last two houses, I haven't put in the ceiling. <gasps> T. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun that this house would have, like, open to the rafters in some of it, at least, I reckon. But not... Like, maybe in the bedrooms. It could have, like, beams. Okay. But yeah, so we would need to do that. And that. And then that should work. <laughs> Le gasp, I know! Thank you, Cassie. I'm glad you enjoy watching me build. I enjoy building. Alright, anyway, let me have a look at this. Um, I don't mind the roof at all. I think the roof is actually quite cute. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, I don't mind the roof. I don't mind the layout. Ooh, why have I got why have I got cacti over there? I need to get rid of those. Um I don't hate the entry, but I imagine it would be a little bit of a routing challenge for the Sims. But I feel like just expanding it be for the best. Again, just because it's The Sims 2. And I feel like it needs it. No, oh, Windows Vista was a nightmare. I hated Windows Vista. That was not, that was not it. Um, okay. So in terms of our siding, I don't mind it, but I kind of want to go like a deep, deep blue. Or got quite a few options over here. <laughs> Maybe actually this pale blue again. Or is that too blue? Um, um blue da ba di da ba da da ba di da ba da. Hmm. Actually, no. Maybe not the blue. We could keep it with its original colour and just make it a nicer siding with the yellow. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. <laughs> the right colour of siding, such a dilemma. Yep. Oh, we've also got a really tiny little back landing here. So again, I'm just going to extend this by just by a tile. Simply for the routing. If you know, you know. Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10 are the best. I actually prefer Windows 11 so far to Windows 10, but they're very similar. Otherwise, yes, I agree with you. Oh, uh, Windows 8 was not a good time. Vista and 8 were just bad. <laughs> just bad, bad, bad altogether. Uh, so let's uh, again add our sort of corner pieces. The sidings. Little things that make a difference. Making my lots pretty. Yeah. Cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now I think <coughs> we can't go past the picket fence again. <laughs> Hi, I really like picket fences. I just think they're adorable. And I want one. For my IRL house. Please and thank you. Now this lot... Like a solid... 10 tiles over there we don't need. And 7 on that side. Do I want a lot of just to this bad boy? 
<laughs> the outrage and confusion online when Windows 8 dropped. Yeah. What a time. What a time to be alive. Do I want a lot of just of this lot, chat? Should I, um... Should I shrink this one down a bit? Or just leave it? Could do with a barn? It'd have like a cute little detached garage action. Alright, I'll just, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. We'll obey the, uh... The Maxis lords, our, our overlords, who designed this house. But I'm going to cut off that part of the yard so it doesn't look quite so odd. Cute. Tempted to go white with those as well. Yeah, that's an improvement. Love that. I don't have my fireplace recolors in the game right now, which is a bit of a shame. So we'll just have to deal with those not being here. Um, I like the idea of having a front pathway. Something like that is quite cute. And then we could have some roses. Don't like the colours. No. All right, Bogan Billy as it is. What is Paul's favorite windows? Oh, good morning, Justin. How are you going? Um, I would have to ask him, but I think he really loved Windows 7. I think he... <laughs> picket fence, Bill. Am I overdoing it with picket fences, guys? Do I need to calm down on my picket fences? I, as I said, I love picket fences, so if I'm overdoing it, let me know. Um, yeah, no, I think... I think Paul's probably would have been Windows 7. I think he finds that, yeah, some of the later windows, like 10 and now 11. I think you guys were kind of talking about this before when you were saying it feels like it's harder to access certain things now. Like, basically with every new update for Windows, they make it harder for people like Paul to actually, like, get in and do stuff and fix stuff um, without having to contact Windows. Windows 7 was your jam after XP. Yeah. So I know I know he loved XP. And then yeah, I think he would probably say. Um. Windows 7 after that. Yeah, no, it is. It's very annoying. Yep. Yeah. Same things. The same things happening across the board with IT. Uh, like like Microsoft products um, and just everything like it's it's way harder for him to actually do his job without having to reach out to them to do things um, which does yeah make it difficult for him at times for sure They want to make money. Yeah, exactly. I'll double check on that though. 
double dash because I'm not 100% sure that would be Paul's answer. <laughs> That's what I think his answer would be. But yeah, I don't actually know that. 100% sure. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're actually dealing with here. I think the outside now looks a lot cuter. Just a little bit of basic landscaping goes a long way in this game, I swear. Um, they've, they've done one of the things that I hate about a lot of Maxis builds where they've used crafts, uh, what are these ones, sorry, uh, the Midnight Ride windows, these ones. Uh, colonial, colonial windows here, and then they've gone back to double hungs at the back. Like, no, don't do that, Maxis. <laughs> don't do that. We we like uh, consistency with our windows, please. It's just, it's just silly. Um, so I'm going to fix that for sure. Okay, now this layout, I am, I am going to change a little bit as well. Because this is just... A very unnecessary hallway moment that we have going on here um, so there's a full bathroom here a half a massive half bathroom here with no window staircase and then we have another foolish bathroom up the top floor so basically we do not need this half bath whatsoever and this kitchen does not need to be cut off like that. We could put the wall across like that if we want to maintain this kind of like flow through feel of the house. Um, and that could be like a dining room. This over here could be an office. This is your living room. Uh, and then you've got two generous bedrooms upstairs. Otherwise, this could, of course, be a downstairs bedroom as well, if you wanted it to be. And I think that just flows a lot better. You always have the square part at the top on the outside. Yeah, yeah. The, the detailing goes outside, I would say, Double Dash. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing on Windows 11. I like Windows 11. If we wanted to maintain the hallway, then we could... We could have it there. That's our other option. Um... Let's have a little kitchen room. And I would probably do that. Either way is fine with me. You thought so? You swear you've seen builds where they have it the opposite way? They're wrong. Oh my god, I don't have the stair walls in. Oh no. It's inconceivable. Okay, uh, well, let's scare it up. And hopefully, it'll let me put some stairs in here. Can't intersect wall. Well, poop. Are you gonna be a big pain in my butt? You would use modular for less routing fails. If you have the stair fixes mods in, it shouldn't matter. Because the stair fixes mods make it so that these stairs are used properly, right? Yes, yes you can. I know there's a trick to doing this, but I just don't know what it is.
Not sure you ever got that? Josephine. I know that's not your name. <laughs> but I'm just saying, Joe. You need to get stair fixes, love. Oh, there's actually quite a few um, hibiscus tree add-ons. Yeah, the mid-biscus ones. There's there's quite a few of those um, dotted around. So, uh, hyster Hysterical Paroxysm, I think, did a bunch. And, yeah, lots of other creators. Um, this one's by Gwenki. Gwenki at Sims 2 Artists. But yeah, lots of those. Now, do I want to have this be a walkthrough bathroom? Uh, I guess that's fine. Mm. Hi, Carolina. This is your yeah, renovation of the Cape Cod Classic House, which is in the lot bin of The Sims 2. So I'm just, uh, yeah, just doing a renovation to make it better and prettier in every way. <laughs> At least that's my hope and my, my goal. <laughs> you guys could let me know how well I succeed or fail at that. I feel like you do kind of want carpet in the upstairs, don't you? Because it dampens the sound. Oh, this poor bathroom has no window. Hmm. Could we... Could we add on a little window well? Mm, it would have to come out too. Might be a little bit odd for a bathroom. Room, sorry guys, rooms without windows just make me really sad. Good choice getting rid of the bathroom, thank you, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh... We didn't, this house doesn't need three bathrooms, okay? It's nice, I like it, but it doesn't need three bathrooms. That was a bit much. My very humble opinion. Um, I have quite a few add-ons for this window now too. Including shutterless versions. It's going to be interesting to try to make the best use of this space <laughs> as a bathroom. I'm uh, not really sure how I'm going to pull that off at this stage. We'll come back to it. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Alrighty. Now in terms of the doors, I do want to switch them out for maybe the walnut door. In a nice brown, yeah, keeps better. Far too many doors into that bathroom as well. Aha, that's the key. <laughs> Cut it down to only one door in and out of that bathroom and we'll be right. <laughs> now we've got heaps more space. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. All good.
Yeah, no worries. Do you like the idea of using quite a few wall lights in these upstairs rooms? Because we're saying that they are open to the rafters, so they would need wall lights. Um, the bathroom I did put ceiling above, yeah. So we will pop in one of those lunatic dudes. This is a cool add-on. This Silent Hill ceiling lamp. I'm not sure who made this, but it's really nice. Custom content creators, listen up. Put your creator names in the descriptions of your items so that I can recommend you to everyone and tell everyone who wants to know who made the fabulous custom content I'm using. You want it? Yeah, so it's an add-on for the for the this light, right? Your wallflower sconce. Um, I'll see if I can. Oh, your name's Andrew Windows XP. Oh, okay, cool. My uncle's name's Andrew. It's a very nice name. I'll see if I can find it for you. Uh, Double dash. Just give me one sec. I do have a slight confession to make, which is that my downloads folder that I'm using is not very well organized currently. <laughs> I'm halfway through organizing it, but it's not very well organized currently. So it's a bit harder for me to chase up where items are from. Honestly, Cassie, um, you know, I've been thinking of offering that as a service, <laughs> like a paid service. <coughs> I will take, I will on commission, sort through your downloads folders for you <laughs> and fix them, <laughs> make them pretty. Would that be weird? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Paul could offer it as part of his services. That was like when Paul was um, fixing up his ex's computer and uh, he, he sheepishly said, oh, I kind of thought I might install The Sims 2 on it for her because she, re she used to really like that game. And I was like, oh, let me at it. I'll fix it up. I'll optimize it. I'll get it working. Does she want camera mods? Does she want mod mods? Does she want this? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, sorry Double Dash, I'll have to look for who made that add-on. Um, oh, wall sconce? Uh, hang on. Floor and table. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I'd found it. Aww. Two. Apparently I've got a floor lamp and a table lamp add-on too. Yep. So I got a table lamp and I got a floor lamp. <laughs> and I can tell you who made those ones. Those are by Psycho Sim. Oh, it's on DCAT? Oh, nice. DCAT is a godsend. Okay. Well, I'm glad you found it. Because, yeah, it's a very nice light. Oh dear. <laughs> the true reason the Sims 2 community grows faster these days, yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> Let's have the same tiles all throughout the house because that's kind of just nice. And then... We'll match it with these walls. And it was all yellow. If you guys, by the way, uh... Oh, hi, Sam! You're attempting to go back to work today. Good luck, my love. And I hope you're feeling a little bit better if you're attempting to go back to work today. Um, I know you've been as sick as me, so... <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I send thoughts, prayers, and solidarity. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, 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 Silent Hill. Silent Hill was like a whole series of, um, like, custom content as well that sort of got made and released. It's kind of cool when you look into it. Um, and the other thing I was gonna say was, um, yeah, if you guys know of any, like, add-ons or stuff that you, uh, that I'm missing, uh, please do let me know. Go with this kitchen set for this lot. We'll have that be like a fridge space. And as I said, I am still working on the the recolors portion of this uh, downloads folder, <laughs> so stay tuned for a lot more recolors to be added to the the folder. I kind of like the blue as it picks up the color in the tiles. That weird. Blue and white is very coastal. Just a headache left, but it's horrible. It comes and goes, so I took half a dose of Tylenol to get me through the work day. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sam has been really struggling with illness. She's just had COVID, I believe. Um, so definitely send her some uh, healing healing thoughts and prayers because uh, she had it pretty rough. Okay, yeah, so we could have that sort of wrap around like that. We'll have the kitchen sink. This is a nice roomy kitchen. Ugh, I dream of this much kitchen space. Kitchen sink can be there, that's kind of nice. And then we'll have some more... Um... Yeah, more... Cabinetry across this wall. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just fill the whole, whole thing. Mm, this is when I need those um <laughs> little half tile add-ons. Not the right color. So I can have the stove be centered. Or I could do it like this. And have that be a gap. That would be a great spot for a pantry. Why hasn't anyone in the Sims 2 community made pantries for all of the kitchen sets? You know, like, like full height pantries. That's what I want. I can do a fake pantry. Although it's like right next to that door, isn't it? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. We'll just leave it blank and you can put a bin there. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're on the lookout for pantries in The Sims 2. Uh, stream... Uh, yeah, stream will end basically as soon as I'm finished with this house, Joe, which will not be too far away. Um, if you need to go to bed, you go to bed, though. I also need to go to bed quite soon. Still very much just trying to get as much sleep and rest as I possibly can. Okay, well, we can't have the shower there with that window. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> that's, that, that, that can't be. That's, that's no good. Um... Plus, I'm starting to get loopy. Some bathrooms are just a little bit of a puzzle waiting to be put together. Oh, hey, guess what, guys? I forgot to tell you. Yeah, no, it won't be long. I forgot to tell you, I finished my Lego Disney castle and it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit on the shelf that we have for it. I will show it to you in just a minute here. Because um, it's quite cool. I may say so myself. So we're gonna have to replace the <laughs> we're gonna have to replace the shelf with something else, unfortunately. But um It's epic. It's so epic. Um, these ones. It's almost like a pantry. I guess if you tie it with a lower cabinet. Almost a pantry, but not. Like, can we just extend that so it's just like a little bit higher? Is that fine? Um, yeah, I think we'll just do... Those ones? And... Cute! Okay, upstairs bathroom. Then we'll be done. So, this one. Yes, what a very interesting shaped bathroom. <laughs> it's a little bit odd, isn't it? Let's have a clawfoot tub under the window because, yes. Let's have a shower over here because, yes. Then let's have a toilet. Yeah, that can be next to the shower. That's fine. And then over here, we'll have a little, like, sink area. Wish I could center this sink. Oh god. Oh, don't crash. Whew. Saving. Story of my life with my old house where nothing fits. It was always a bit of an unknown, but it just, it turns out that the Lego Disney castle is just a little bit too grand uh, for the, yeah, for the spot we had for it. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite the castle, I will say. That's nice. Here we go. All right, that is, 
a really cute house now. I really like that one. Would definitely, would definitely want to play in that house. Forty-five centimeter kitchen bench is probably from the nineteen fifties. Yeah, kitchens are a little different than they were in the fifties nowadays. Need a lot more bench space. Uh, Cape Cod Classic T A Renault, and we will package. Excuse me. So this one's a little bit more pricey. So it won't be a starter home for like a, a a single or a couple. It'd be more a starter home for the family. Okay. That was fun. We made a start. I really enjoyed that. Uh, thank you, Cassie. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you guys want any of those renovations, just let me know on Discord and I can uh, upload them for you. Uh, none of the custom content is merged, or very little of it is merged, so it shouldn't come with any like extra CC that you don't want, but I will of course check before I go ahead and upload everything. But yeah, let me show you guys this, uh, this castle. <laughs> it's quite fun, hold on. Yeah, it's like, well, in my state it's 9.30. So basically, oh yeah, and also the pink couch is gone. <laughs> there's there's been some uh, there's been some updates, uh, but we have replaced my pink couch, my beloved pink couch, which I love so much, with a sofa bed with a with a ruby on it, um, so that my mum and Paul's mum have somewhere to sleep when this one makes her appearance. Um, and also, yes, these are my pyjama pants. I told you I was in my pyjamas. Yeah, you can kind of see the castle back here. Um, so... This... Is like... The tower, right? <laughs> That's meant to sit... On top of that. So it's like... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> It's just too tall. <laughs> yeah, little rubies here. But the detail on this castle is immaculate. Like, check this out. So it's like the magic mirror for the um, evil stepmom and her poison apple. And then this one's like a little chest. <laughs> yeah, time to knock out that upper cupboard. No, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this bit of furniture. Um, so it, at the moment it holds my, my teapots. So what we want to do is replace it with a different corner cabinet unit that has a lockable, you know, cupboard for my teapots to go in. And then this will just sit on top of it. But yeah, I finally finished it. My Lego Disney castle. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys I'm going to call it a night there thank you all so much as I said for hanging out and just geeking out and doing some renovations with me um hopefully I'll be able to stream on the weekend as long as I'm not too unwell obviously I'll keep you guys posted I hope you all have a great night's sleep or a good rest of your day and uh yeah thank you so much for being here I will <laughs> same Joe same Thank you all so much for being here. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.